is Hodgen defends his system of basic English, his counter-offensive, an explosion of certain misrepresentations of basic English by C.K. Ogden. Uh, this edition has a new introduction by W. Terence Gordon and was published in 1994. I have the original uh, edition also. But I want to just quote for a second or so as to why you should take a look at this book. I.A. Richards said of this work that even Ogden's mental resources could not afford what it cost him in time, trouble, and irritation. While this may be true, readers can be glad that Ogden took that time and trouble to produce perhaps the finest exposition, certainly the most comprehensive among his writings of the purpose, principles, pedagogy, and potential of basic English. So for anyone who would like to use the system of basic English as an introduction to normal English or as a as an international language. The motivation for choosing basic English may be found in this book. To recall just what the situation was that from about 1910 or so, Ogden was starting to put down his thoughts as to how symbols, language, thoughts were interconnected and how best to express them. He had developed a certain expansion on Bentham's theory that most things that we talk about can be expressed in terms more close, closer to reality. If that is true, then you have a basic vocabulary to express those basic terms, and everything else can be expanded and defined in terms of those basic terms. So basic English is not simple English. It is a extraction from the normal English of those concepts necessary to, or those words which are necessary to express all the ideas of normal living. And then you can go forward from there and use those definitions to talk about other higher level things. Uh, in the example, he uses the uh, biological term or bot botanical term, exarch. And he goes through all the scientific means of defining that term. And then he gives I couldn't understand the roundabout way that science was trying to explain something to somebody who did not have the experience with the basic terms and the book counter offensive a line by line refutation of the standard academic criticism basic English is, in my opinion, incontrovertible. You have to understand that basic English is an alternative system to the way the traditional academic community accepted the teaching of language. What happened in the 1930s where people came to Orthological Institute, they were very enthusiastic about teaching different English, and to particularly to younger people. They took all the information that Ogden had at that time, and then they went out and subtly changed the fundamental basis of it. As I've mentioned, Basic English believes that most ideas are expansions on ideas which are closer to reality. The alternative system was that 
as you are learning and teaching children English, what you should do is to teach them the most common words first. In my case, this made I was subjected to the, the Dick and Jane readers. And denied that opportunity to be acquainted with great literature the way the generations before me had been acquainted. So the counteroffensive basically is that the traditional academic people, Dr. Michael West, a PhD, went to the Ontario College of Education and this is going to be a constant shame to me that I am so close, I went to the Ontario College of Education also, and that they would accept the social status of an English PhD over the logic of something that was rational and right. The same choices are being made today, and there's a constant battle to do what is rational. Basic English is rational. It can be expanded to whatever level of normal English you want to have. The Dick and Jane readers are so boring and so boring that people get turned off reading and experience the imaginative life altogether. Michael West, 